Hey guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Boruto episode 285. So, just a heads up before we get started, if you hear me, I don't know what's going to get noise cancelled and what's not, but if you hear me coughing or uh, clearing my throat a lot, I apologize ahead of time. I might be coming down with something, or it's just because I moved a ton of furniture recently that kicked up a lot of dust and everything, and maybe it like got in my lungs a bit, but I have like a tickle in my lungs, and uh, and it's been causing me to cough all day today, but... I want to try to get this done. Tonight's my last recording night before I get a few days off, so I wanted to try to try to tough it out. So I'll do my best to hold it back, but I'm sure I'll do it a few times throughout the video, just so you guys know. But last time we had Sasuke infiltrating the office of uh, Zansul, or whatever his name was, and uh, instead of finding what he was looking for, he learned a little more of the truth behind the... Uh, the uh, the dinos that we have here. We also got to see Zansu working with Gigi in order to do reanimation jutsu on chickens, it seems like, turning them into what we see here. So, seems like there's a little different trick to it, because apparently Sasuke said there's no tags that are being used to control them or whatnot, so uh, he reached his arm down the throat of one of them, took control of it, and that's all I really remember. <laughs> I remember Sakura being very nervous trying to impersonate someone and keep that guy's attention, which I would be nervous, but I feel like an experienced shinobi like her shouldn't have been as nervous, so I'm kind of, I kind of disagree with the writing on that one, but <clears throat> I think they were trying to add tension, so, but yeah, so yeah, let's uh, say so yeah, five more times more, uh, let's start the episode here, shall we guys, we're gonna start in five, four, three, Two, one, now. Yeah, last episode was a little slow for me. I I don't normally like to bash things. It wasn't bad, but I I just didn't really know what to talk about. So trying to do the opening and find things to talk about was kind of like, eh. Hey, our new hawk buddy. Oh, okay, maybe it's Kakashi's. <coughs> hmm. That's what its assets are, is the... the army of beasts. Opening time. <laughs> I'm gonna clean my glorses. Yeah, there's uh I'm really hoping that I fight this off, whatever this is. Um because there's someone in my household that just had a positive COVID test, so I'm really hoping that I if I do have it, maybe I'll be able to fight it off. That one girl that, like, turns into a beast with her crazy arms. I would not want to be her husband when she's older. That would be... Imagine you just get... She's just angry at you and does that mode. It's like, that's fucking terrifying. <clears throat> Haunt you in your dreams. Always making jokes because apparently the wife of one of my friends that I talk to a lot is like a real hard ass, you know? So he's like, he's even scared of her. He's like, she'll beat my ass. <laughs> <clears throat> Made me think of that. Good for you, Sakura. In a prison full of dudes that probably just want to bang you, and you're thinking about your husband. <clears throat> I'm 
God, my throat. I feel like this guy knows more shit. Good reason why she didn't have it before and has it now. Oh, he knows. <laughs> they mm. <laughs> Oh That was adorable What are they doing? Oh, interesting. Is he getting early release for helping Zanzu? <clears throat> ah. Is this where the Ultra Particles showed up? Is he going to jump over there? Seems like he has a hint. Managed to. I don't know why I didn't think about it before that I can just click over and mute my microphone for, uh. for my coughing. <clears> 
Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I always love that little gag when uh <clears throat> when characters like hmm hmm wait what. <laughs> Chi Chi's gonna wake up. Of course. He has like a boom box on his shoulder, playing a love song. Oh. <clears throat> I like, I find it adorable, right, that Sakura just tripped and he was able to catch her like that. I just find it so unbelievable that a trained shinobi as old as she is would get tripped up by something like that. <clears throat> If anything came out of this little arc, it's... I like seeing their relationship together. Uh Oh. Missing all these little moments. <laughs> I have wrinkles. Sasuke says all these nice, like, I feel like romantic things, and she's just like, you look older. And now shit hits the fan. I have a feeling that they're going to try to, like, use these Ultra Particles to, like, create their army or something, right? <clears throat> this is crazy. Hmm. They're mostly sealed away. 
Okay. Uh oh. They showed her putting it specifically there, I'm guessing for a reason. All right. Is he just riding one? I guess he found his answer. Yep, so they needed them, too. <laughs> I guess they didn't know the hand sign needed, right? They they figured that part out. I was going to say, it's been in the pond right next to your base. Yep. Ah, oh, so it's just GG, right? All right, We've got dinosaur time. <clears throat> no shit, it's killing prisoners. Jeez. They're like, that's a damn, like, hacky. They're not even supposed to be, like, aggressive. Ah, oh, Sakura. Nice. Let's get some punching in. <laughs> what a badass just punching dinos. <laughs> Is she gonna run into GG? I hope Sakura doesn't end up being, like, there to prop up Sasuke, right? 
I hope she's not here just to get defeated by, like, Gigi and saved by Sasuke. Yep, here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> He's lying. Ah, no! Seems like you almost figured it out. Well. Come on, Sakura. Damn it. <clears throat> I mean, she has her forehead thing, right? She should be able to heal that. Oh, it's poison. What was I just saying? <clears throat> Come on, Sakura. And that's what he's trying to do. Well. Just a shit ton of them coming up. This is a predicament. <clears throat> Uh, I think he is. Sasuke, you can, like, instant transmission, my guy. Like, he swaps places with people all the time, right? He still, this is back when he still has his Rinnegan and all that. So technically, he should have been able to swap places with Zansul and then just jump off the the Birdo, right? And then Zansul would have been on the ground again. I don't know. Maybe there's a part of that power that I don't understand. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> no, she's not. All right, well. <clears throat> uh, I like, I'm not a big fan of that development. I will say. Like, the arc's alright with the whole, like, I'm gonna make a Dragon Beast army through this, like, reanimation jutsu. We need the ultra particles in order to mass produce. You know, it's like, alright. And, like, you know, our good guys are also looking for the particle in order to save Naruto. It's like, it's fine. I like the story, but 
I'm not a big fan of bringing Sakura in if she's just gonna be like that that character that is just gonna get instantly defeated like that, and now it's gonna be up to Sasuke. I even said right before it happened that I hope this didn't happen, you know. <clears throat> and it's like, I understand they had some level of trust in Gigi, and that's why she let her guard down. But when she came from the courtyard where he said, like, that's where Zensu was, I feel like she should have been a little more suspicious. And then when the guy grabbed onto her, I feel like she should have been even more suspicious, right? Instead, she just let herself get stabberinoed. But, alrighty guys, that is it for 285. So, um... But yeah, I, I mean, I like the little moments, like I said, between Sasuke and Sakura's relationship, too. Those are really nice. Like, uh, the one older prisoner guy saying that Sasuke's always looking out the window at the flowers, and now he understands why. And Sakura's like, what does that mean? And then she goes and looks out and sees, like, a pink-colored flower. Uh, I think she called them, like, almond flowers or whatever. But, um... And, you know, realizes that, oh, you know, he's looking at them because it reminds him of her, right? So, that was, that was really nice and everything. And then them holding hands by the, by the water at that beautiful site was just really nice as well. And talking about how, like, they're, you know, they're fine when they're away and everything. And I really like Sasuke's moment where he's like, you know, I leave for a while and I come back and your hairstyle has changed and Serata's has gotten taller and it was really, it was really touching and everything. Um, so if, like I said, if there is anything that comes out of these arcs is that we get to see a little more of that relationship. It reminds me of when we had like the little hot springs, I think, or that was like a hot springs, right, is where they went to. The little vacation that the Uzumaki family went on where we got to see a little more of Naruto and Hinata together, which was really cool to see as well. So it gave me it gave me vibes of that. So definitely enjoyed that. And like I said, I mean, I know I already kind of talked about it, but not the biggest fan of Sakura going down so easy. One, she tripped earlier in the episode. Last episode, she was really nervous while doing like an undercover mission. It's like, I feel like all of these things, she should be this badass shinobi, but she's being written in this arc as, like, the the girlfriend that's in need of being helped by Sasuke. And that's why I kind of saw this coming with her getting hurt and now needing to be saved by Sasuke. Because, you know, it's, it's being written in that way where she's the girlfriend, not this badass shinobi kind of thing, right? And I feel like even a poor betrayal of a girlfriend, but, you know. Um, I mean, I like the little emotional scenes and everything. That's fine for for boyfriend and girlfriend stuff, but or I guess technically they're husband and wife. So, um, <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, I don't know. It was just I just want more from that. Like we went through all of like old Naruto dealing with Sakura being kind of useless, and then in Shippuden she got better and she got pretty powerful and everything. And, and then, like, now I feel like we're almost back to, like, old Sakura again. And I know people make mistakes, this stuff kind of happens, and and everything, but I don't know. I wish it would have been written in a different way. Like, I wish Sasuke could have handled Zansul, and then Sakura could have handled Gigi, and they could have been, like, two, uh, like, this badass power couple that could have handled the situation together, right? But, nope. So, yeah, I mean, we had a little bit from Gigi talking about his girlfriend who died. That's his motivation is to try to bring her back to life, and he needed the Ultra Particles to do that. So, um, I mean, at least he has kind of, like, a somewhat understandable, like, it's a very typical bad guy reasoning of, like, someone going to extremes when maybe they normally wouldn't have because they lost a loved one. It's very story cliche, but... It's more endearing than so far we have Zansul who just seems like a bad guy, you know? Like, we, we don't know his reasoning other than just wanting power. So, uh, I'm liking Gigi's character a little more than, than Zansul's at the moment. But, I also feel like Sasuke, like, I don't know if there's a reason for it, but he's not using, like, any bit of his powers. Like, what, what have we seen him do this arc? Like, he's activated his... 
Sharingan like a couple times and that's like it, right? But he has like this immense power that battled Naruto with the Nine Tails and harnessing that power and everything. And and he was able to fight against him and everything. And now we have him here where he just you know, a little guy on a on a little flying thing gets away from him. It's like, really? You know? You fought against freaking Madara and shit, and, and you're gonna let this guy just fly away from you? And like I said, like, I mean, we've seen him swap places with people, right? I mean, and like I said, unless there's a condition to activating that power that I don't remember, he should have just been able to switch places with Zanzu, put him on the ground, and then Sasuke jump off of the thing that he was on top of, land on the ground next to him and be like, oh, what now, bitch, you know? And then just pull out Susano and just fucking hammer him into the ground, you know? I don't know. It's It feels like they're nerfing Sasuke and Sakura down to try to make these guys plan get a little farther before they these characters, like, handle it. But it also, I mean, one, we're in a filler arc, so we know the character's gonna be okay. That's why I made the joke about, like, oh no, Sakura's dead, you know? It's like, no, she's not, because this is a filler arc, so they're not going to kill off Sakura in an arc like this, right? Um, and then, two, uh, ba 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 <clears throat> Shit, what was my other point? Um, we know the ending, right? We know that, not, like, this is a flashback, so we know that Naruto gets healed from this illness, which means that they manage to get the Ultra Particles back, which, you know... By process of elimination, you can assume that they take care of this Dragon Beast situation and these two guys. So it's like, we already know the ending. I mean, granted, you could probably say that about any arc, so that's kind of a cynical way to look at it, and that's why I try not to look at it that way, because in, I mean, this is a story where, you know, obviously Boruto is probably going to win in the end. Like, who knows how long it's going to take, but for the most part, he's going to win. It's not like he's going to die and then they're going to rename the show, right? to one of these villains. So, I mean, really, in any of the arcs, you can be like, oh, Boruto will win eventually, you know? Uh, so it's really a cynical way to look at it, which is why I probably shouldn't even have said it, but I did, so there it is. But yeah, anyway, I don't really have much more to say. It's kind of like, you know, a little, a couple aspects that are disappointing, but, you know, we're, like, maybe one, maybe two episodes. I think someone said it's either 287 or after 287 that the manga stuff starts up again. And this was 285, so we either have after the next episode, or after two more episodes. We'll see. But this will probably be wrapping up here soon. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to see more content from me. The link is in the description below. You might even be able to see the first manga, uh, you know, where that, where that arc starts, right? Because uh, there's two episodes ahead on my Patreon, so if it starts up in two episodes... You could get the start right now. Check that out if you're interested in supporting me and what I do here. I very much appreciate it. There's more content on there if you go for my bigger tier, which is the Patreon exclusive tier, um, where you can get shows that aren't even released to YouTube yet. So thank you guys so much. Uh, links are in the description. should be popping up on the screen, and I'll see you guys in my future reactions. Bye-bye.